don't think. So he's not going to trade with me. He's a waste of time anyway, isn't he? Really. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering if now I've got this area here under attack. I wonder if that might be settled enough for me to be able to repair that. You know. Weaver's Cottage. I wonder if it's worth me risking repairing that. No, he's likely to come out of there with something, isn't he, and just attack that one place. It's the kind of stupid thing that he does, isn't it? He'll probably leave his capital completely empty, you know, as well. That is his capital, by the way, his new capital. And it is worth 2,242. That's what he's getting from that. He's got war weariness, all sorts of problems in there. I hope it means that he can't really afford to come out of the place anyway. So, that's, uh, uh Okay. Turn end. Let's see where we go from, go from here. Um, that's a bit of a gift, isn't it, really? I think um, I'm going to fight this, but 168 with me, with all of these ships, I don't think really it's worth me showing this one, is it? But um, anyway, certainly let you know the result. I think you know it already. I'm going to get, what is about 800 prize money? Maybe 1,000 for taking this? Stupid, isn't it? He obviously thinks he can get past me and block one of my ports. Well, it is not going to happen. Well, the prize money was a bit less than I expected there, but anyway, 835, I suppose we'll have to accept it. Let's get on with the rest of the turn. Ah, looks like my suspicions were right about Bengal, doesn't it? The trouble is, I've uh, taken the precaution too late. I've only got three lots of infantry in here. Um, I don't seem to have any um, uh, firelock armed citizenry in the place. I don't know why. We just don't seem to have got any in there at all. But uh, maybe it's been such a happy place, it hasn't needed repression. So, the walls are going to get hammered down. Um, the cavalry are going to come charging through. We'll have no... Chevro de Free, I should imagine. Oh, maybe, yeah, we will have Chevro de Free, or we should have, anyway. Anyway, I'll let you know what happens. Usual drill, anyway. I'm going to form up in the middle um, of the fort, and um, I might sit on the walls with a couple of infantry regiments to fire at him on the way in, um, and then quickly exit the walls and form myself into a, a square formation in the middle and see what he comes up with. So, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. He's only really got five lots of infantry to hit me with, so... Anyway, let's have some fun. I'll let you know the result. Well, look at those results. That has to be about the best one ever. He's lost 581. I lost absolutely nothing. Fantastic result. But would have been dull to watch. It was pouring rain. So hard to see as well. Right, uh, I'm going to get rid of the sound in a minute as soon as I've gone through these. Normal port blocked, we know about all of these. Workers on strike sinned, no surprise there. Let's get rid of the sound. Ah, that's a heck of a lot better, isn't it? Um, OK, we're in the uh, winter of 1762. A uh, couple of very successful battles there. 
um, we need to not be distracted by those and just carry on our main purpose which is to wipe out the Marathas we're going to carry on up to the Pun Punjab. I don't know why I ended up so much up in the air there like that. Um, right, here we go. I don't think... Hmm. I think what I'll do actually... Uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll bring in those horse as well from here. They're not going to be used for anything else. Oh, there's nothing else nearby, so... Yep. Nothing at all, so that horse that I raised especially you know, to fight the uh, Marathas, they're going to go into this one as well. What if they've got time to join them and then get in there? Or do they need to go there first? Let's put them there first. Now these should have plenty of time to reach there. So put those in there. That's um, a university. We're going to destroy that anyway, by the way, so I wouldn't worry the fact that we damaged that simply by being in there. And here we go. You know the drill. We're going to attack this place, and when we attack it, we're going to shell it with mortars, uh, bring up our howitzers when he's away from the walls, um, and then we're just going to keep shelling inside, 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 until eventually he comes out and attacks us, and then he's going to get blown to pieces by our infantry. I've shown this one quite recently, so uh, I don't think I'll be um, exposing you to another hour-long battle there like that, will I? Uh, he's got 1,284, I've got 966. Should we try the surrender, see what happens? I doubt it, but we'll have a go. We'll have a go. All right. Okay, they refuse surrender, so let's go in and get them. Well, the results aren't quite as good as some that I've had before. My mortars seemed to be absolutely hopeless. They didn't seem to hit anything, and they got hit themselves. So we had to commit uh, the infantry a little bit more. But anyway, still a resounding victory. That's the main thing. It's called a heroic victory, which is always good for prestige. Now, the um, first thing I need to do is get rid of these ash crams. Um, there's one, by the look of it. And... Uh, any more? It must be another one. It's usually more than one. Oh, there's that, that's that university I don't want. Uh, so I, on the way in, decided I want to get rid of it. And, uh, come on, I could have swore there'd be, an, could swear there'd be another one. Uh, pleasure gardens, we'll keep those. And this, there it is. Great ash crown. Right, okay, so we get rid of all of those. And inside here, build up any buildings that are going to be useful to me. Um, Subedar's palace sounds good. Uh, Raj's Observatory sounds good, uh, and I'm not sure I'm really going to need these. I'm really not sure. It says I don't need to repair that, but probably was damaged. Uh, I will, however, um, replenish the troops in there, uh, because I might be using those to attack Kashmir, which is only just up there, as soon as I've settled the place, of course. Um, ah, which reminds me, if I'm going to settle this place, I might need to raise... Um, dragoons and things. I don't think I'm going to need any more artillery. I think I've probably got enough to be able to handle what I need to handle from here on in. Right, OK, that's region captured and unit recruited. This is still the year-end stuff, by the look of it. Technology theft failed. I didn't realise I hadn't done the year-end things, actually. Uh, where's that, then? Here. Right, and we're after uh, this, are we? Right, OK. Um... Now, construction report, Amsterdam Army Board. Well, that's good. Uh, right, OK, plus two's command when commanding frigates. It's very good, isn't it? Right, OK, um, now I've got that Army Board in here. I think I might splash out on um, something good. Presidential Palace, right, Army Staff College. That's good, isn't it? Look, there we go. Holland Guard, that's what I've been waiting for. And the Blue Guards. All right, just click on those so you can see what they give me. There you go. And there's the others. Um, so, looking forward to getting those. Um, right, I don't know if I can afford them yet, but I'm going to try. 2,844, I'm down to now. I might have to change that, actually, but um, let's have a look, see what we need to do in India. Um, but I'm going to have it now, anyway, because I just bought it. <laughs> um, Sind. Let's have a look at the Sind. This is the place that I've just taken. You remember I destroyed some buildings in here. So obviously having destroyed them, I now want to build um, the ones that I want in here. Uh, right, okay. So we'll have coaching in. 
and we'll have a church school.